Well, I think, you know, both of them are good players. They have a lot of the, you know, same qualities in terms of they're in good high school programs. They have good high school coaches. You know, they, they play to win the game. And uh, they both won state championships. But, um, you know, blue collar, hardworking, um, selfless. You know, they have a lot of those same qualities. Um, that's an unbelievable recipe, you know, for success. But, um, you know, Caleb first, you know, can play the, play the four and play the five. And, um, you know, just his ability to move with that kind of size and athleticism. Um, he really improved his free throw percentages last year, which is a great sign. A lot of times guys want to shoot shots on the perimeter, shoot threes. Um, but first and foremost, when you have size, you got to be able to make your free throws. And he shot 82% last year, and I thought that was a fantastic stride on his part, especially since it was something I talked to him about. And, you know, anytime you talk to guys about making improvements and doing certain things, and then they take it, you know, amongst themselves to, to make those improvements and do those things. So, you know, him just continue to improve now, knocking down perimeter jumpers, um, you know, hopefully knocking down threes. And that's something that when you get there, and if you can have size and you can do that to go along with his ability to, to drive the ball from the perimeter, post up around the basket, and just trying to be a, you know, an all around player. And, um, and then from a defensive standpoint, being able to guard the biggest guy on the court and then being able to guard the second biggest guy on the court, you know, being able to guard um, you know, people of size. We double the post a lot. So, you know, when he gets up against somebody who's seven one, seven two, you know, we're going to give him help and be able to double in those areas. Um, but then when he gets up against a face up four who's, you know, six seven, one ninety, that's really like a big guard, you know, now working towards getting that guy out of rhythm, shooting it, but also containing his dribble. Uh, but we're, you know, very excited, um, you know, to get Caleb. And uh, I think he's going to be a tremendous player at Purdue. Um, Trey Kaufman, um, like I said, they, they have a lot of the same makeup in terms of, you know, wanting winners. You know, he's, he's just a winner. He's a hardworking guy. Um, he loves basketball and um, really always striving to, to, to find the next thing to improve, whether it's his lateral quickness, his outside shooting, um, whatever. You know, just a, kind of a basketball junkie. And uh, we, we think he's going to be a, you know, a great player for us. Um, his improvement um, to be able to move and to be able to play a 3-4, you know, we, we've talked a lot about Vince Edwards with him and, um, you know, being able to play a small forward and also being able to play a power forward. But just a quality player, uh, just a guy that gets it, understands, competes. Um, like I said, very similar to Caleb um, in, in those areas. But um, those two are going to be able to – I, I feel win a lot of games for Purdue. On a pretty good run here in the last couple of classes of, of getting guys you've really, really wanted. Is, is there something you can put your finger on that you guys are recruiting at a pretty high level right now or one of the highest levels yeah. you've probably recruited at at Purdue? Or? Well, I would say just the consistency um, of our program. You know, obviously we went to a couple Sweet 16s and Elite Eight. You know, we're graduating our players. Um, you, you see our guys develop and get better. And you have a lot of examples um, to take from in that area. And so anytime, you know, you're able to, you know, get a great education at Purdue, be around great people, and then come to a program that's winning basketball games and guys are developing and getting better, um, I think that's what you want. I know that comes off pretty simple. Um, but I, it really just kind of shows to where you are, putting your attention to your needs. But we're getting, we're getting the people that we want to. And I think that's an important, and I, and I talked about that, checking those boxes, trying to get, you know, a, a great person, a great student, and a, and a great player. It doesn't always work that way because sometimes the people that you go after that check those boxes, you know, you don't get them. You know, it's just kind of simple. It's in recruiting. Everybody gets told no. Anytime you get guys that, um, or you get classes, as you said, back-to-back -back, or three in a row especially, um, you know, you feel good about it, you know, you, and that's, you know, what you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to build and have a good team, but also grow old with that team. You know, if you look at the success we've had, maybe outside of one situation, um, you know, we, we, we've had teams growing old, teams staying together, teams fighting through adversity. And then when you do that, you, you got some bumps in the road, but you really, 
have been able to grow in and compete for championships. We've we've won three Big Ten titles, but I, we've been second four or five times. Like we've been right there, and that's what you want. And, and anytime you're first or second in this league, third in this league, you're going to get a pretty good seed. You know, you you want to fight and really work towards getting those guys, you know, like Caleb First and Trey Kaufman in your program. Um, they they have all the ingredients that are going to lead to success, and you want to coach those guys. And, uh, and so for us to be able to, to land some guys in the state, I just don't want to sign guys in the state just to sign guys in the state to be able to, you know, talk the rhetoric that, you know, we're getting all these guys in the state. I want to get guys that fit at Purdue, period. You know, I want guys that want to get their education, that want to be coached, that, you know, have a, you know, competitive spirit to them, that, that when they come in, it's like, you know, what can I do to help Purdue win? Because if they want to be a pro, they're going to have to go to an organization and help them win. That's still the defining, you know, piece to everything is what do you do that leads to success? And uh, we feel like we got two great players um, that are already winners, that have already won state championships, that are going to try to win another state championship this year and uh, help them come here and, and, and hopefully help us win a Big Ten championship and have success in the NCAA tournament and get to a Final Four. You know, that's what we're doing, but also get a great education and not lose our soul in the process. Well, anytime you're that young and you have that kind of size, you know, when you first start recruiting somebody as a freshman or sophomore in high school and you can move that way, I know, you know, his mobility for somebody that is that big and his athleticism really sets him apart. And, you know, now, you know, as you grow and you move from high school to college, you know, you go from being the biggest guy on the high school court to not always going to be the biggest guy on the college court and then professionally, you know, that really changes. And so now the development, you know, of his game and his high school coach um, has done a great job with him and um, his AAU program has done a great job with him. He's played against great players. He's, you know, he's competed. He's played the right way. I've been able to see him in a lot of different settings, whether that's open gym, you know, lifting weights, um, you know, AAU games, high school games, you know, just across the board. Anytime you have that long recruitment of somebody, you know, you see him in, in a lot of different environments. Um, and he's just been really successful and um, played hard. But I would think from the physical piece, it's that mobility for that size and that kind of athleticism. A lot of times guys of his size don't, you know, don't have that kind of athleticism. Um, but I, I think his skill is, is, is improving and he's getting better. He does a good job of finishing at the rim. He can drive the basketball. It's just hard to drive it sometimes when you're the biggest guy on the court and you got three, four people around you in a high school game. Um, you know, Trey Kaufman is, um, you know, a guy that's really worked. He's worked on his body. Um, he's put a lot of time into it. Um, he's really searched out kind of anything and anybody to, to help his cause. Um, you know, just wants to get better, really enamored, um, you know, with the game. And so his ability to move and shoot the basketball and, um, you know, pass the basketball, I think, you know, his – He's going to have to be that 3-4. Um, he's going to get into some matchup situations where he's going to have smaller people on him, um, at times bigger people on him. Um, and so just, you know, being able to drive the ball. Um, he can make intermediate shots. He can pull up and shoot, which a lot of times six eight guys can't. Um, but being able to shoot threes consistently, being able to make a pull up, being able to play in the post, um, facilitate and pass. Um, you know, he's just got a really good skill set, you know, for somebody that size. But, you know, just a hardworking guy, blue collar. And um, like I said about him and Caleb, they have a lot of the same qualities when it comes to success.